This is Unai, a new all-in-one VR headset with nine cameras for full body tracking and facial tracking. Now, this headset comes with a fully-fledged VR world that allows to meet others in VR and these meetings are supposed to feel as real as life itself. Now, in this live stream, we're going to check out this headset. So, absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video, because all of this goodness is coming up. Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews and you're getting the latest news, just like this one here. So if you're interested in VR, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss live streams just like this one here. All right, so now let's talk about the Unai project. Wow, what an interesting project and I'm looking forward to tell you all about it. So this is it. This is the Unai headset. And it's not only a headset, it is supposed to come with this virtual world where you can meet others, make new friends, and these interactions are supposed to feel as real as never before. So, very interesting, this is not going to be a Steam VR headset. So, this is not for your Half-Life Alex. This is not for your Beat Saber. This is for something different. This is for social VR. Now, it does remind us a bit about the Decca Gear 1. One, another VR headset from another startup that is being developed right now and we're going to compare them here in a moment. But first of all, let's have a look at the website and you can check out the website yourself at unai, that's U-N-A-I dot one. O -N -E. So you can check out the website yourself and we're going to have a look at the website together now. So a dedicated VR experience for being together with people in VR. Meeting and talking with people is the best experience VR has to offer. Yuna is both a headset and a virtual world designed to make that experience a whole lot better. So that's the interesting part. It comes with that you, uh, you, you and I world as well. So this is not a SteamVR headset. This is a headset that allows you to enter that UNI virtual world. And let's have a look at how this virtual world is going to look like. So a look inside the UNI virtual world. We are building the world inside the UNI headset. This is rendered in real time using the UNI headset hardware. And look at these renders. Wow. Wow, this looks really spectacular. Check this out. This is a beautiful render. Incredible. So if I would be able to see this in VR and if I would be able to move around in this world at 90 frames per second with 100 people there at the same time, I would really be impressed. So this is, of course, the question. How would it really look if you are in that VR headset? And how is it going to look when there's other avatars? Will you be able to render this at this quality at 90 frames per second? I would be very impressed and let's see, let's see. I am excited to find out more about it. So, no wires, Unai is an all-in-one VR headset. We use a dedicated box that wirelessly connects to our headsets. This offers tons of creative freedom to make beautiful, engaging worlds. We are working on solving the many technical challenges of using this dedicated box wirelessly. Network, latency, battery. Join us to help solve those challenges. Very interesting, as you can tell, they are like outsourcing the computing power to this little box. So the computing does not happen on the headset, but in this box. And I think that's a kind of smart thing to do because if this all would be in the headset, then it would make this kind of front heavy as we know it from the Quest and the Quest 2, right? So having this little compute, compute box that wirelessly puts the data into the headset that is kind of a smart design and I like it. And actually, 
that is also a patent that Apple has, right? They also had this idea before to have this dedicated little hardware that would wirelessly feed a headset with data. So this is how the UNI is working. And Thomas from Ireland says, sounds like a startup. Yeah, they are a startup. Exactly. We're going to have a look at their trailer in a moment. But first, we're going to look at the website. So this is the part now that I find very interesting. Facial features and body tracking. The Uni headset uses nine cameras and two microphones. We are working on true spatial audio, facial features tracking, and full body tracking. We rely on machine learning and... We'd love for you to join us and help build our models. Okay, there you got it. So, very cool. Nine cameras. Nine cameras. So, this is here. Four cameras here. And what I already like about this, the positioning of those tracking cameras is way smarter than the positioning of the four cameras of the Reverb G2, right? Because... Well, you will have a bigger tracking volume if you place the cameras here on the four edges. So that is something something cool. And there are more cameras. We're going to find out more about those other cameras in the trailer that we're going to watch in a moment. Robert, hi. Thanks for watching this. Great greetings to Denmark here from Germany. Right, so lots of tracking and even full body tracking. Now, that is something new because until now, if you wanted full body tracking, you would have to use the, um, yeah, the, the lighthouse tracking, right? You would have to put those trackers on your, on your feet and then you could track yourself. But this is supposed to do full body tracking with those nine cameras. Cool. We're going to hopefully find out more about this in the trailer that we're going to watch in a moment. We are on a mission to build an endless dreamlike world in VR. Join us. There are many challenges ahead of us and we are building a remote team to take them on together. So look at these beautiful renders. Wow, if I could be in a VR world that truly looks like this with 90 frames per second and hundreds of people, wow, I'd be, I'd be happy and I'm sure we are going to do that in the future. Just like the question is, can we do something now? <laughs> let's, let's find out. So actually they are hiring. They are hiring and we're going to find out more in the trailer. So they list all the technical challenges that they have and the artistic challenges. So that's something that if you are a specialist in, for example, yeah, doing PCBs, or if you are if you are a specialist in developing AI models, you probably could start to work at Uni, at this interesting startup company here, working at Uni. So you can probably apply to work at Uni. But now, let's have a look at their trailer, and I'm going to react to that trailer. So we're not simply going to watch it. I'm probably going to stop the thing, the trailer and simply leave my comments <laughs> here live for you on the channel. So let's have a look at this. Let's do full screen. VR is not mainstream yet. And this is because all the VR headsets are focused on gaming. Instead, what we are building is a new kind of headset. One whose sole focus is to make being with someone in VR feel the same as in real life. Wow, that is very ambitious, yeah? If you meet somebody in, in VR and making it feel as if it was in real life, that is really, truly ambitious, wow. This headset lets you connect to our virtual world, where you can spend time with friends, make new ones, and live limitless stories. Live limitless stories. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. Let's see. And from the design, design-wise, I really like this headset. Looks cool. Looks like it has some built-in audio here, right? And overall, it seems like to have this kind of um, PSVR style halo design. Design-wise, I absolutely like it. Let's keep on watching. Using a dedicated box to just plug in at your house, we are rendering this in real time inside the Unite VR headset. Well, it looks absolutely stunning. So if you, if you can be in that world and that is truly being rendered at 90 frames per second, 
Wow, okay, I would like to check it out, that's for sure. Look at the lava. Look at, look at how this looks like, wow. And there are Vikings, Vikings in VR. All this is only the very beginning, a first step towards making the metaverse real. In the this world, are top everything notch. will be possible. You could have a walk with friends going to waterfall as high as the clouds, telling them childhood stories on the journey. Travel to dreamlike ancient places with new friends, or explore whole new worlds with strangers. My name is Max Coutet, and with my best friend Gabriel, we built our own VR headset when we were 15 years old because we couldn't afford to buy one. We all right. Okay. Hello there. Amazing to meet you. And I think it's like unbelievable, right? He built a VR headset when he was 15 years old. Wow. At that time, I was happily sitting in front of my TV playing Super Mario World. <laughs> okay, cool. That is pretty amazing. And the headset that he and his friend built, actually, that became the Project Relativity. And... Well, this was a very cool project, and I can just say, wow, it's super ambitious as a 15-year-old to build something like this and to make it a real project that people now can build themselves. And it has full Steam VR support. This headset that he and his friend were building when he was 15. So now this Uni is the next project, and it's even more ambitious. And it's, it's, it's incredible. So let's listen a bit more to, to what he has to tell us about the project. We open sourced it four years ago, and since then, we kept building new VR headsets. And now, we are building Unai. Okay. From this experience, we learned that we cannot build the hardware and the software separately. They have to be built together in perfect synergy. This is why Unai is both an all-in-one VR headset and a virtual world made just for it. The first step is that being with someone in VR should feel the same as in real life. Doing so requires true spatial audio and precise facial features and body tracking. This is done using a multitude of cameras and mic all inside the headset. Okay, so two mics and nine cameras and also cameras within the headset to check out the, the facial, everything, uh, the, 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 to have facial tracking, right? So that reminds me a lot of the Deca Gear 1. So let's talk about this in a moment. The focus should be on human interactions, on making people look and sound like people. The movement of the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows, all those details should be as close as possible to the real thing. We deeply believe that the first mainstream use case of VR will be social, not gaming. Things like hanging... Okay, so in his opinion, the first real use case or the, the most mainstream use case should not be gaming, but should be social VR. Wow, that is... That is quite um, an assumption here, right? Because, well, we all here, we are like gaming. <laughs> We're gaming since a couple of years in VR and we kind of love it, right? Okay, we are not the mainstream, that we understand. But, wow, okay. So, their assumption, the, the, real, the real thing that's going to bring this to the people is social VR. So, let's keep on watching out, chatting and meeting new people. To us, what matters is to build the perfect world and device for people to live their virtual life. To achieve this, we are recruiting artists and engineers. We need talents to help us craft what will become the metaverse. If you want to apply to join the Unai Beta starting in 2021 or apply for a job, join us on unai.one. Okay, so if you want to build the metaverse together with Unai, you can do so. VR is not main. And, well, let's go back here. And, well, you can apply for a job at Unai if you're an engineer or if you're an artist, and that sounds 
pretty interesting. Now, this is a very, very ambitious project, right? To build not only the hardware, but to also build the software, like the whole Uni world around it. And if it's supposed to look like we've just seen in the renders, then, wow, this is absolutely ambitious. So, what is the difference between this here, the Uni, and the Decca Gear 1 that we've been talking here on the channel about. So the Decca Gear 1 also is a VR headset that was specifically built for social VR, right? Because the Decca Gear 1 also has those cameras inside the headset that would track your face. So that, for example, in VR chat, you could have your real facial impressions. Now, the difference to this here, though, is that the Decca Gear is built as a SteamVR headset where you could still play your, your Half-Life Alex, where you can still play your Beat Saber. And for that, it also has controllers, right? Something that we don't see here at all. So my assumption now here with the Yuna is that there are no controllers. I, my assumption here right now is that there are no controllers and everything is done with tracking. So also, if you want to use your hands, probably all those cameras are going to pick up your hands, just like for the Quest 1, and going to put your hands into the virtual worlds. But as we learned from this video on the website here, not only your hands and your face, but full body tracking. So most probably you will also see your feet if the controllers, if the cameras could pick that up. So it sounds very interesting. So it seems like the big difference for this here, for the Yuna is that, well, you will be in that one world, in that Yuna world, and you cannot access other worlds, other social VR worlds. But everything is there. And for the Decca Gear, it is more like a Steam VR headset that comes with more, yeah, that comes with more sensors, with more cameras, and you can still play Half Life Alex and then play VR Chat or Somnium Space or whatever you want to play. So these are two completely different approaches. And Dear Unite team, if you're watching this, then I would love to get in touch with you, probably have an interview with you to find out more. So please do get in touch with me at my email address, the email address down in the description of this video. So what do I think of this? Well, I really love the ambition, that's for sure. And the headset looks really interesting with those nine cameras. That's exactly what we need. The, the camera placement looks just about right and everything seems very cool. And if the VR world would look like it does in the renders, then wow, that would be pretty, pretty amazing. However, <laughs> and that's a big however, well, I think it's a tough call to make this happen. Of course, it's always tough to build something new, right? But in this moment in time, isn't it a bit tough to build a VR headset that can only do one thing? That's the big question. Also, there will be the big chicken and egg problem because, well, you cannot possibly sell this at a super cheap price, right? It probably is not going to be cheaper than the Quest 2, right? Because this seems like a very nice headset with all these cameras, with all these nine cameras, with the two microphones, probably also want to have a really nice display, right? In order to really show all these beautiful rendered worlds, then you have this compute box, which most probably has to have a very capable processor, probably also the XR2, and then probably, well, well you will need to sell this at what? $700, $800, and then, wow, that's going to be expensive, right? And then, well, people, some people will buy it who love your idea, but most probably they will be looking into an empty world, right? Because you will not be able to convince so many people to buy an $800 device, which can only do one thing, and then there's nobody there where you can buy a Quest 2 for $299. You can play all the games. You can play Beat Saber, Contractors, all the amazing games, Half-Life Alex with the link cable. And you can go into social worlds like Rec Room, like All Space, like Somnium Space, like all these cool worlds where you can also hang out with other people. And these are full with people. 
right? So in my opinion, you have that huge chicken and egg pro problem. And as much as I really love the ambition at this moment in time, I don't quite see it. But I would be very happy if you would prove me wrong because I love new VR projects and for sure I would love to have an interview. So right now, I would quickly like to ask the people who are watching this live, hello there, dear live audience, what do you think of this? Please do let me know with, uh, please do let me know in the chat right now. So what do you think about the UNI? Is it something that you would buy? And if yes, how, ex how, how much would you be willing to pay for this? Kasper, as Olsen says, it's very ambitious. That is for sure. And Ian Walker, hi Ian. Seems to me they are starting to ramp up. This will take a little time, but I hope they can attract the right talent. Hope so too. I, I totally root for them. I also root for Decker Gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Casper says the website looks somewhat authentic. Absolutely. King of Tanks says I like the idea, but I don't think I will buy. And Not Just Pal says like the idea, but I don't think I will buy. Sounds neat, but must be five hundred dollars or less. Okay, wouldn't buy it if it has no games. And Gridnav says, want the metaverse? Convince companies that they can drive sales with VR and AR content online. Sim, that's right. And Uthrul says, video is good enough <laughs> that he may get bought by Facebook. And Leof says, just want VR for gaming. Yeah, that's, that's really, that's interesting. Very interesting, very interesting. I think it's a very interesting project and I will keep watching it here for you on MRTV. So let's keep watching it. I would love to have an interview again. So if the UNI CEO or anyone from the company is watching this, I would love to have you here on the show. Yeah, and that's it for another short live stream which with only one topic. I'm really into these short live streams which talk about one news topic and I hope you like it too. If you like this, if you like the channel in general, then how about you make some noise for the algorithm? Give it a thumbs up and also write a comment. For, for example, you could let me know what you think about the UNI project. That would be good. <laughs> that would be really good. So please make some noise for the algorithm. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, then do so now. And if you love this channel, why don't you become a member of the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. That is my Patreon channel. And that is how I finance this channel. Because, well, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of this being an independent channel where I don't, you know, don't work together with Facebook or other companies to tell you how amazing this and this headset is. No, I'm independent and I'm very proud of it. And I can only do it thanks to my Patreon. And my big goal is to reach 3,000 Patreons. 3,000 Patreons is my big goal. If I get a 3,000 Patreon, then for sure I can keep on doing this channel here full time and I can keep on giving you independent XR reviews. We are now at 500 Patreons. This is really cool and amazing, but I still have to get along until 3,000. It's only going to take you back $1 and you're getting way more content. Like for example, Patreons already know what I think about the Pimax 5K Super. So if you want to know that too, go to mrtvelite.com. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that now and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.